And now, Sports Live. When walking into the Mountain America Center today, written on the glass doors, I saw Mountain America Center plus IHSAA equals wins for Eastern Idaho. The first of those wins was announced this afternoon with Hero Arena set to host the 2024 and 2025 State Volleyball Championships and the 2026 and 2027 State Cheer and Dance Championships. This announcement comes as part of a new partnership for the Mountain America Center with the IHSAA. The venue says it's a discussion that started two and a half years ago, well before the MAC opened. It's a huge boost for the Mountain America Center and for the local economy, and both parties say it's a partnership with the kids at the forefront. It's going to be a once-in-a-lifetime chance. You know, not all athletes play professionally. Not all athletes go to college. Sometimes this is the, you know, the end of their playing careers, and for us it's about giving them that one opportunity to create you know, a, a great tradition and a great memory for themselves and for their teammates. It gives some credence to those kids that feel kind of like, well, we never get that chance. Now they have that chance, and not just at the higher levels, the 5A, 4A, but all the way down to the 1A, and, and so they're just as special, and we want to show them that. According to the IHSAA, it's not a guarantee that the state volleyball and state cheer and dance tournaments stay at the MAC after their first two years. But if the tournaments are a success, they will continue at the Mountain America Center. Now, for some of you, this poses another question. Does that mean more tournaments are on the way to the MAC? Specifically, is state basketball on the horizon? I asked that question to both Mountain America Center General Manager Eric Hudson and IHSAA Assistant Director Mike Federico. Here's what they said. It hasn't been discussed in the sense that we would have to change the way we do the tournament. You know, to have a championship Saturday at an arena without, you know, 10, 11,000 seats um, wouldn't work the way it works now. So, you know, we, we could say that. That's, that's just the facts. So we would have to change our tournament format. That hasn't been discussed or brought up. The partnership's pretty fluid. So, I mean, we, they obviously know our intentions and, you know, we want to be good partners. And we want any event that we host in this building, we want to make it special. And it's, like I said, it's about making lasting memories for the athletes. And, and uh, I think that if basketball came here, it would be, it would be off the charts.